Hello, my name is Roger Watson and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Nurse Education and Practice, which is published by Elsevier. In this session, I want to address one of the sets of major reporting guidelines for medical research, and these are referred to as the consort guidelines. To demonstrate that, there are two important things that you must do, and these are available on the consort website. There is a 25 item checklist for the most standard kind of, of clinical trial or adaptations for the other designs. And these ensure that you've included uh, everything in your manuscript. For example, it, 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 it includes title, abstract, uh, methods, all, all the standard parts of, of, a, of, a, of any manuscript, but actually it ensures that you have it there in that order and it tells you what should be included in there. One very important aspect of that checklist is the item near the end which asks if you have registered your clinical trial and again uh, very few reputable publishers or journals will accept manuscripts for publication reporting clinical trials if that trial has not been uh, registered uh, in advance and in fact it should strictly speaking have been registered before the trial started. So on the consort checklist not only does it remind you that you need to register. That's why it's important to check it before you start to make sure that you do that. It gives you uh, a tick box to show that you've done it and also the ability to put in the link uh, to the trial site where it's registered so that reviewers, editors and indeed subsequent readers of your article can check uh, your study against the published protocol. That's the, that's the idea. That comes under the auspices of what's called all trials, to which all major reputable publishers are signed up, and it is audited uh, by, by the all trials group. So finally, just make sure uh, when you're going to uh, design a trial, make sure that you go to the consort website. You can also find the consort website gathered under the equator set of guidance, which is copious and covers all the other uh, major reporting guidelines for medical research, but you can find it separately through any search engine by typing in uh, consort or consort guidelines. So ensure that you check it and ensure that when you submit your paper, you submit that checklist and also, very important, make sure that you submit the flow diagram along with it. I'm sure that those of you reading clinical trials are familiar with the flow diagram. This is one of the really key parts of the consort guidance and it ensures that all potential participants are accounted for, everyone who is uh, recruited into the study is accounted for, accounted for in terms of which arm of the study to which they're allocated, then whether or not they drop out and it accounts for the final number of people in the trial. And it's done in such a way that that enables you to see if there's any differential dropout effect on the results, in other words, uh, intention to treat analysis, which most, again, most reputable medical journals in insist that you do. So my advice regarding consort is quite simple. If you're doing a trial, check it, use it, make sure that when you're submitting to uh, a journal that you've uh, included the checklist and that you've included the flow diagram. I hope you found that useful and thank you very much for listening.